Um, so I'm sitting down with the Big Step Youth Program Coordinator, Kara Fitzgerald. Welcome, Kara. Hi, Nate. Thanks for having me with you here. Yeah, today. this is going to be a great conversation. I'm looking forward to hearing what you're up to, what uh, your role, how it fits into the organization on our end as well as Big Step. We have a strong relationship with one of our industry partners, WRTP Big Step. Uh, they are the workforce readiness part of the industry. I was hoping you could actually talk a little bit more on some of the some of the roles and goals uh, that that Big Step has in, in the needs that they fill uh, for the industry. So WRTP Big Step as a workforce intermediary, we really pride ourselves on that ability to be industry-led, worker-centered, and community-focused. And so I think with the way our organization is built out and across um, both southeastern and south-central Wisconsin area, different um, offices, different positions to be able to, to sit in that hub of connecting with and developing a qualified workforce, but also responding to what the industry is looking for. So um, we do have programming and services both on the industrial and construction side, but really focusing on, on construction. Um, within our Milwaukee office, there's um, programs and partnerships director engaging with other community leaders and community partners. Um, we have programs supporting both adults and youth who, um, perhaps are interested in building a skill set to work towards a skilled trades um, career pathway. So Big Step we recognize as being an investment uh, on behalf of the industry. What are some of the program offerings that they have? Within our program and service offerings um, on that construction side of being that intermediary and in some ways serving as a, a recruiting and training arm for the, the building trades, we offer both individual and cohort-based uh, apprenticeship readiness programming. So um, offering individual support in navigating the application process and meeting the requirements for the various trade applications to work towards getting on a trade list um, within a chosen pathway. Uh, we have tutoring services, to be able to prepare for the uh, placement testing. And then we also do, in addition to tutoring for those tests, we offer the AccuPlacer testing on site to be able to help individuals meet those requirements. We also offer cohort-based training. So we have an entry level, we have entry level um, construction skills training so that individuals no matter what craft they may be working towards, um, having a, an opportunity to enhance their skill set um, with industry instructors on site here at WRTB Big Step and um, access to various partners through that opportunity. I know that you've been making inroads with um, with with the the local school districts, whether it be MPS or the surrounding school districts. Um, and, and, and really are, are starting to be recognized and, and getting a lot of buy-in from those individuals. Uh, what are some of the programs that you're currently either facilitating or engaged in uh, that's helping to help with that? One focus for this early part of this year is to continue to do uh, outreach presentations with specific groups. So that has been happening at both a student level and at a staff level. So recently connecting with uh, counselors, school counselors, transition coordinators, and other school staff to better understand the process and how WRTP Big Step and Building Advantage uh, work within the industry and how a student that they are working with may take first steps to work towards an apprenticeship. Um, another piece of that is to connect with students individually. So for students who maybe they are wanting to learn more, they are looking to see what, what pieces of this puzzle towards an apprenticeship they have in place and what they might still need to work on. We are offering orientations and informational sessions uh, for those high school students to be able to get better acquainted what, with what the trade pathways are and how to approach next steps. Let's say that I'm an individual, I've looked at construction, I wanna get started. Um, what's gonna help me to stand out? If, if I go to Big Step, what's gonna help me to stand out uh, to an employer and, and ultimately land a job or give me a better chance of landing a job? We offer a space where individuals um, can be connected to resources, whether it's not here directly at WRTP Big Step, working within, um, 
working with community partners to be able to connect them to have the tools to be able to work and move forward um, in a chosen pathway. Having these conversations with individuals to help answer any questions that you have, to help best direct you if you do have experience in the construction industry or if you are new to it. I mean, there are opportunities for everyone and part of that process and knowing that each different craft has a unique application, there are unique requirements. And so it's through these conversations, it's through these services that we are here to help direct you and to help support you um, to make that process feel as straightforward as possible. WRTB Big Step is recognized as uh, the certifying agency for the this MC3 credential, which some local schools through their building trades programs um, have the opportunity to implement and students have a chance to earn this credential in in a way to prepare them for an apprenticeship post high school. So this includes uh, a basic understanding of the construction industry and what the trades are, having a chance to earn health and safety credentials such as CPR and OSHA, to learn a little bit about the labor history um, of our country and what it means to be a part of a union, and then those more technical skills. How would you define success for you in your role? When I think about success in my role, I think first and foremost, a big piece of that is to be able to offer awareness and understanding of an opportunity for high school students that they maybe didn't even know existed. You know, a registered apprenticeship sometimes being referred to as the other four year degree and having the opportunity to work hands on in um, alongside skilled workers and also getting your education um, at no cost to you as an individual. There are nearly 20 different crafts and pathways and having the opportunity to connect with youth. So perhaps it's in a career fair format, perhaps it's in an outreach presentation, perhaps it's in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but that is a big part of my role is to be able to help um, individuals see what opportunities are available and how to take the steps to get there. And that begins when you are in high school, because you know if you don't know that you're going to college, you might decide I don't wanna take the ACT, but by knowing this is the goal, Every student needs that, that star, that to aim for. And part of my job is to help create what those options are within this construction, union construction sector through registered apprenticeship. I think another piece of that is not only working with students directly, but with counselors and teachers um, to help to make sure that every stakeholder is you know, within the industry and beyond the industry have a common language and know the steps that it takes to work towards an apprenticeship. So with COVID, as I'm hearing, um, you uh, obviously weren't able to do a ton of in-person events or even a ton of uh, in-person engagement, not only with the, with the students, but also with, with the counselors and the other champions within the schools. Uh, but you got creative uh, in being able to pull together um, industry segments that might have you know, the same cluster of work that they're doing you know, via contractor as well as uh, through the trades. Can you speak more uh, just, just briefly on uh, uh, those info sessions and, and kind of where the concept came from and, and what you accomplished with those? So as someone who did not have a lot of direct connection to the construction industry coming into this role, and I think in, in starting off of this role and having conversations with students, you hear individuals say, I'm interested in construction. And there are such a variety of pathways and there's, there are so many opportunities within construction that you need to get more specific. And so to be able to help promote and offer specific information to this, to this point, we were able to host a seven week series um, of informational sessions focused, focused around different trade clusters. So annually, Building Advantage will host a career fair. Uh, traditionally, we have it in April um, and uh, it just, just really building awareness around the industry and the trades and the opportunities there. Unfortunately, this year uh, that got bumped uh, due to COVID and we were planning on hosting a live or an in-person one in the fall. And we were actually going to tie it to National Apprenticeship Week, which is in November. Again, COVID wasn't, uh, it was still around. So, so we had to think creatively 
and and you were instrumental in really helping us to to, to orchestrate um, something that could still be uh, engaging with the students um, and still logistically feasible. And uh, we were able to, from our end, apply some resources uh, to help execute that vision. Uh, but if you could just briefly uh, describe uh, what, what, uh, what those offerings were the, the week of the, the career fair, um, a virtual career fair, you know, in lieu of an in-person career fair. So rather than having a one-time a standalone event. So knowing that this in-person career fair wouldn't necessarily happen, but throughout National Apprenticeship Week and even beyond, um, wanting to offer a view into the construction career, specifically uh, union apprenticeship pathway, you know, within the within the industry, and creating a video series that would not necessarily be tied to a specific day and time, but for uh, teachers, counselors, um, and other individuals to be able to engage with the videos and have conversations around um, what opportunities are within, within the construction career pathway. We were able to highlight the projects at these sites. We were able to capture from personal experiences of why being a part of a union is such an important part um, and connection to the work that individuals do as well as offer some perspective on what an apprenticeship is and what the career pathway looks like. So through those four videos, um, we did create an instructional guide for to help um, guide some conversation and students to be able to do a scavenger hunt as they watch those videos. And so again, this we launched this during National Apprenticeship Week, but it is here and continues to be here as an offering um, to get a glimpse into the work um, within construction happening right here in our backyard. If, if you're talking with uh, somebody who's interested in getting into the trades, where would you advise that they start? A really important first step is to have an understanding of what the various trade pathways are and um, what, what are you interested in as a job seeker in pursuing. So the Building Advantage website can be a helpful tool in doing so um, with having connections to, to videos, uh, testimonials, and examples of um, what it what it takes to perform a certain craft. So by by starting through, you know, identifying what trade you are interested in, then the next step would be in that referral process is to connect either to WRTP Big Step Services um, in terms of preparing for any testing requirements, receiving any other documentation that is needed. Um, and or getting connected directly to the local trade uh, facility to be able to move forward in that process. You know, if somebody wanted to get either in touch with you or with Big Step directly uh, to learn more, how would they go about doing that? You can always give us a call. Our number is 414-342-9787. And we really would look forward to connecting you with um, how to begin a career in the skilled trades. We greatly appreciate it, um, taking, taking the opportunity to learn more about um, this, this really important aspect uh, that, that's doing really great work on behalf of the industry. Um, so thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yep. Appreciate the conversation. Take care, Kara.